the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. You well, about to say something? Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, it's it's it's, it's it really parallels what's going on in the world today. Oh, yes, they sir. thought yes, they could see because the established hierarchy told them this is what it was. Mm -hmm. They believed in what they were taught and what was being propagated over the airways to be mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. And they had settled on that. So anything other than that, mm -hmm. they gonna see. They couldn't see it because we believe in so many things now, other than yeah. the spirit of God. Yeah. It's almost like that. That that them folks that came from a, from an out outer land, and they had the molded bread and all that kind of stuff as to deceive the Israelites as if they came from a faraway land. Uh -huh. In other words, the Israelites took what they saw. To be face value to the point they didn't even consult with God, yeah. and because of that, they wouldn't get their information the truth. So today, like we get, I mean, we we've promoted uh, CNN, CNS, Fox, all that. What they tell us across the news to be the naked truth about everything that we see, and we have our positions, and we've taken our positions based on the political party or whatever's told mm -hmm. to the point of. We're not really even consulting God as to what the real truth is behind what's going on. We've given up on God, the churches, the people. We believe now the, the media and whatever they told us is what's going on. Yeah. That's what we preach as the gospel truth. And God is not even being considered. It's amazing to me that uh, so many people that call themselves spiritual, they propagate the news. They don't propagate the Bible. They They don't, they don't. They, they decided what the media told them is truth when God really wants to reveal the truth to you but you don't even you don't even ask him because you already have decided what the truth is so yes. you think you can see uh -huh. but you're blind you're absolutely blind. blind but this man didn't go by what the status quo was telling him or what the hierarchy of the people in charge wanted him to believe yes. because it's always an agenda he had an experience yes and he exactly. said well i don't know whether it's a sinner i don't know whether he's or not i don't know what he is but i'll tell you one thing i do know that one day i was blind and now i can see and that's the only thing that matters to me now you decide what he is because i'm gonna yeah. base it on the reality in my own personal life not because you're you know this or you're that or you're independent or you're a democrat or you're a republican I don't got nothing to do with all that. I'm gonna tell you what happened to me personally. And then I'm gonna have to ignore a lot of that because knowing that that's all the deception, that's all part of where the deception is gonna come from. So for me to be caught up in that, I'm part of the deception, especially if I'm the one taking that and spreading it to others. I'm part of the problem. I'm anti-Christ, my dang Thank self. Thank you. We need to get away from that and go back to the scriptures yeah. and get back on our knees and let the Holy Spirit show us the truth yeah, of the matter. Is. And oftentimes when he show us something, it's gonna be contrary to what the media is saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you just mm -hmm. look at the Bible Come and then, and just follow the stories. How often did what the hierarchy was saying was the same thing the Holy Spirit told him? Yeah. Most times it wasn't. It wasn't. And I'm gonna tell you something, that hasn't changed. It's still no. the same way. Oh, it's it's so, not going to change so, yeah. because it, it, it has to remain the same because of the father of it. He can't Absolutely. Change. He can't Absolutely. Change. And you know Absolutely. what's so sad while you were saying this? It's not only the media. This is happening in the church. Yes. Oh, no, of course. Because they are not relying on hearing from God. They're relying on hearing from a man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Instead of taking what this man is saying mm -hmm. and running it by God. Yes. Now let me say let me say something else. Let me say something else. And you're 100 percent right on that. But it's even now worse because now it's magnified ten times over. Because he's already told us from the scriptures that in the latter days, deception is going to be the rule. Yes. 
it's going to be so rampant, even more so than ever before in the history of mankind, that the hierarchy, the media, all this outside noise is going to be more fluential and it's going to be more deceptive than ever before in the history of time. So to yeah. even be caught up in it as Christians yeah. proves to us that we've discounted the spirit of God and we've moved over into something that's antichrist. Let me tell you something. It's sad right now where we are in this life, in this world, in politics and things because deception is so strong yeah. and so amazing. To again, I'm going to say this, that the churches don't preach Bible no more. No. They preach democracy. Yeah. They preach a political party. Yeah. They yes. preach a position that the news has put out there. And then it bothers me a lot that preachers take that and that's what they preach. That bothers me so much because I'm thinking, dude, you're the one that's supposed to be able to be the light in the darkness, yeah. yes. not the perpetrator of the darkness. You're yeah. supposed to be the one that that's giving a, a, a spiritual insight from the spirit of God, not repeating what they told you. And, and, and but that's where we are. And that's why and that's why the deception is even stronger, because now, like him, the place we should go to get the truth, they're propagating lies. Yeah, they and we have to tell lies. them. And then they're going to tell us because we're going to say something different that mm -hmm. you're the anti vaxxer, or you're the on the outside, or you're stupid, or you're dumb, or you're slow. Let uh. me tell you something. You can call me what you want to. When I got it from the throne, it's probably not going to be what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm going to stick with it. Because because I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. I really don't. On. But one thing I do know, that yesterday I could see, and today and I can't. So you make and, your decision. And, and even with that, he was like, when have you ever heard this? So obviously yeah. he's a prophet. <laughs> but you call him a sinner. This is what prophets let me say do something from, what, from what I've heard. <laughs> let me say something about this scripture, though. So he was saying some stuff. And there's something in there that I think is truly stated, mm. but it's not a statement of truth. Uh -huh. I mean, because he was no scholar or nothing. I don't know where mm. he got it from, but it was truly stated that he said it, so the Bible wrote it. But I don't say it, I don't think, believe in my heart, I don't believe it was a statement of truth. He said, well, we all know that God here is not sinners. Yeah. I don't believe that statement. No, I, I, don't that. I, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Now, now he thought. said it. That's what was he thought said at it. that time. Though. Right. So it was recorded, but yeah. I don't believe that to be true. Yeah. Because if he couldn't, then he's never heard me before. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and then and then I and then I can't be saved. So I don't right. think that's the truth. I, don't, I mean, he said but what he believed, what? and so it was recorded. But I don't think that was a statement of truth. I really well, don't. I believe at that that particular time it was. Yeah, it was. That's why I they were saying that he was a time. Center. Yeah. And 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 uh, the world wasn't privy to this. Yeah. Yeah, and so it, it in a, in a way that was a true statement because that's why but, they wanted to call him a sinner. But then, on the other hand, it wasn't because all have sinned. Come yeah. on now, we were born in. So the then sin. he's never heard none of us. Yeah, so we yeah. were born in the sin. So <laughs> right, outside exactly. of Adam and Eve, he ain't hear nobody. He ain't hear Cain and Abel. <laughs> Couldn't have heard it. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that was interesting, Jerry, on that one. Because here's, the, here's, the, here's that, 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 that slide you was talking about. It, um, I, I wonder, was he, I was, is this not in the scripture or not? It's something in there talking about, you were talking about the fact that it's in verse 31. Now we know right. that God here is not a sinner. But if any man be a worshiper of God, and does is his will, him he hears. I don't believe that statement. I don't, I don't believe that yeah. whole, I don't believe that whole, I don't believe that to be, I don't believe, I know he said that, but I don't believe that, uh, I, just, uh, I, have a, I have a problem with that scripture, I always have, and I still do, yeah. yeah. And, and, and rightfully so, but we, what we need to understand is, this man was only born for the purpose of this. Yes. Not not what he said there, but for the glory of God. Oh, no question. And to show who Yeshua actually was. And yeah. so him saying that was just him saying that. Based yeah. on his that was that was philosophy for him. Yeah, and he, I think that's his point. Yeah. I think and he so, was countering 
their statement, right? Because yeah, their statement yeah. was, we know that he is a sinner. Yeah. And, and, and that because they were something. saying that, that they were born under Moses, <laughs> which which is saying a whole lot, you know, because Myron. I don't Myron. recall Moses crossing over. Myron. <laughs> Myron, can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Why do you have them flames behind you? That's represent the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no, no, it's just a, it's just a background. It is. Okay. It doesn't represent the Holy Spirit. It, 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 it does not represent anything. It was just. It a looked like spirit. hell back there. Or something. I'm thinking, is, is Myron <laughs> devil worshiping back hey, there? I know. Look, what kind know of sick are you trying to say? It? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego <laughs> went in and thought. So why, why, why would you choose yeah. hell, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> and uh, that that is a good interesting too right <laughs> see i, I, yeah, I was I'm saying it on the spirit <laughs> i'm thinking what the world is going on <laughs> it's just a background I, okay I okay I, okay i can't find the one that i used to have i used to have uh the the crown of thorns What's i thought you were trying to send a message brother i'm gonna say that's gonna be misconstrued did i oh hey. no i hey. was i was over <laughs> to Cause I'm, thinking, like, Jimmy, I'm, I'm preaching fire and brimstone, brother. <laughs> I'm thinking what kind of I'm thinking what kind of channel I'll tap into. <laughs> I was I was thinking like don't we get the the uh day of Pentecost. They, yeah. they, they, it came down as fire, right? Tongues of fire. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy gonna have me changing my background. I, know, <laughs> I, I, I was taking it the Holy Spirit. I, hey, I, I look, didn't see it the other way. I can't offend any messing. brother. If, if it offends, oh. I'm gonna change it now. <laughs> I'll just mess with you. I'll just mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I never even look at it for that. If, that's a, if you preach your fire and brimstone, my brother, that 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 that, that right there goes right along with it. Now. Yeah, that, that, hey, that's part of the gospel right there. It, yes, you can't sir. have one without the other. Uh, no, that's right. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. You right. Yeah, there's that's no a good scripture. Discussion. It's a really yeah. good discussion, though. Good scriptures. Yeah. That 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 was that was uh, that was just showing the fact that how you blinded. We also use that second uh, Hosea six, right? He said, "My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge." But then, because you have rejected knowledge, that's the the key we're talking about is you rejecting truth. It's, it's well, you know, especially when you understand that the whole agenda for the people in hierarchy and the people in power, they see us as sheeple and easily misled and deceived. Yeah. And yeah. so they know this. And so their whole agenda is to keep us all blind and walking around that way. And so, yeah, I mean, and yeah. so it just shows you the, the, the deception that's in the world today is so yeah. heavy and so deep. And they, and they and they see us as sheep, so they're really leading. And unfortunately, they're leading the masses. I mean, it's... it's, it's well, it's, the thing is, you know, it's no different than what was offered to Yeshua when he was taken into the wilderness. If he oh, yeah, absolutely. do it to him, then he could do it for any other flesh that is born in this world. He can offer it to any of them. And if yeah. he puts them in power... Then yeah. they have to fall privy to what yeah. he wants. Yeah. And so that, if the God of this world, who is the God of confusion, a God of lies, then obviously that's his platform. And so the, the, yeah. This yeah. whole world is set up to function in dysfunction. And dysfunction. it's not just the US, it's the world. It's no, the world. it's the world. And even the world. Christ said that. There's different dispensation, and I truly believe that mm -hmm. these are the times of sorrow. If you look at those scriptures, he's describing everything that we're experiencing right now. Because obviously these aren't the last days, because I don't see too many people trying to have a, a mountain fall upon them right now. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't see a whole lot of that part coming to pass and Obviously, I wasn't caught up yet, so it can't be here yet. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> hey, but I was I'm, I'm still here during that time. I missed the mark, and something going wrong. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking to that, and I'm gonna use this as a historical perspective. How do you uh, get people to do the slave trade? 
how did the church, because you remember, I think I told you that Pope Nicholas V said that these people were not under the grace of God. This Pope Nicholas V wrote a letter to, to the Portuguese in Spain saying that it's all right to take their stuff and put them in perpetual slavery. And that has been one of the biggest deceptions by the ministries all the way up to the end of slavery and then the Jim Crow laws and everything else is still something that people think they're doing God's will, saying that these people are not under the grace of God. You know, how can you, how can you convince people worldwide that back then, 1400, 1500, how can you convince people to give it? We were talking a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the Ten Commandments, right? In the Ten Commandments, we're going to talk about the, the human one. Thou shall not murder. How, how did that square with the slave trade? You know, well, let me say this. First, I'll say this, is that let's understand and always remember, always have to add this to everything we look at as an underlying denominator, that who is the God of this world? Thank you. And they, and they call him the prince of the power of the air, yes. the airways, yes. the atmosphere, everything. He, he again, when, there, when you overthrow the government in a, cute, a coup, the first thing they always do is what? They take over the airways, they take over all the information. Because whoever controls the information controls the people. Don't 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 kid yourself. That's fundamental to an overthrow. And I would say they have to desensitize you. You know what they tell you? That they're not really human beings. How do we go out here? I mean, some of the people that are animal lovers, they ask us all the time, how can you kill pigs? How can you kill cows for yeah. food? These are animals. How can you continue to just kill? How can you go hunting and kill deer? How can you do this? Because to us, the way we have been brought up and see things, those are just animals. And I mean, they're for food and whatever the case may be. So we don't see them as being a regular human being. We don't feel like we're committing murder when we go out here and kill a deer or whatever. We really don't, they still do. But in the minds of the people, once they made them see black people as not really totally human, they're mm. just chattel like animals or other things. And so however you mistreat them or kill them or whatever, they're not really humans anyway. They don't have a soul. So mm. if I desensitize you that that's what you believe Hitler did it about the Jews. If I desensitize you to believe they're not really humans, yeah. they don't have a soul, they're just animals, then yeah, now I can consciously mistreat it, kill it, whatever, and it doesn't bother me. And so it's a whole programming process that they went through and it worked and it worked it, well. Yeah, damn it. It's, it's, because it's, I'm, it's, yeah. In, in my, I, I see it also as what we know as the bait and switch. So because you have the Jews and the Gentiles, you know, the Gentiles were looked at as less than. Mm -hmm. And so you had this uh, dominant force take over the Jews. And so, and, and then they did the bait and switch to where they took over that authority that they had. And then they put themselves over them. And but so they're using this information to, to propagate lies. And so then it goes forth that the only people who pretty much are tied to being less than mm -hmm. are those who used to be everything that God desired of his people. Yeah. Well, not but, everything, but, you, but what God desired. Yeah, because I'm trying to... wanted them to live. Because so, you see, look at... Because you're talking about the fact you say you make them less than an animal, right? Yeah. But here's the problem I'm trying to say, is that you don't abuse animals and torture animals. You don't supposed to, right? You, well, not in the sense of torture, though. Know, but I mean, you, you don't mind... You know, if you go out there and kill a... I mean, if you if you if you kill an animal in the back of your backyard, or you go hunt, I yeah. mean, you don't have the same feeling as if that was a human. I mean, yeah. I mean you know, you, but yeah. you know, some of the people view that as torture. Like, oh my God, all these vegans now. You know, we don't yeah. with the veganism and pescatarian and all these folks. I can't believe you guys eat human, animal flesh and you you're slaughtering all these these innocent pigs and cows and chickens. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I barbecued yesterday. <laughs> 
and no it, qualms it, with it, huh? <laughs> right. Well, None. Look, look, None. Don't forget, don't forget Jesus told, uh, God told Peter, right, rise up, kill, and eat, right? So, I, <laughs> and, and, and I know we can't have fish and all that stuff, but I'm talking about the the the, the torture and the, and the cutting off people alive, cutting their toes off. And, yeah, that yeah, they was off. just that just crazy. That, that's just, that was demonic. That's, man. that's demonic. Like, like you said, that's demonic. That is that is an extremism of of what was started. And exactly. that's, well, you may have to stop eating meat soon anyway, though, because now I understand that uh, they're going to begin to put the uh, the vac the vax in in the animal meat and stuff. So if you didn't <laughs> take it, you're still gonna get it in you. Cause uh, they gonna shoot up all the chickens and the hogs and the pigs, and then and then of course now your boy came up with some kind of coating for the vegetables that's supposed to make them last longer and whatever that he's that's just scary when he's buying up all the farmland he and now all these doggone uh, pig farms and, and and all these different things automatically blowing up or catching on fire or all this kind of stuff. But but, but let me just tell you something. We 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 we're, we're in trouble right now. We're we're. We're in a place now that 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 really, and and now you got this Fed now where they didn't murder this guy that was the CEO of Cash App, and Fed now is coming out. They're coming out with their own brothers. Let me tell you something. Where you, you come up, K buy and sell, because everything is going to have to be bought through that currency. Yeah. And if they feel like they don't want you to make this gun purchase, or you don't bought too much gas this month, or you don't need to travel. Now you got people that's going to be able to govern your purchases because everything is now monitored. Brothers, we are in trouble. We may not be what well, they say in Mountain Farm yet, uh, Myron, <laughs> but we but we next door. Yeah, we're next that, door. That's brothers. what I'm saying. This this is the time of sorrow. This is right before that. This is right before. I mean, it is it is scripture, and we so get, yeah, yeah. So to 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 think about. Uh, the things that are happening in this world, you know, they, they have to happen, you know, and, and and though these are times of sorrow, we can look ahead and know that, you know, our Savior is 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 on his way. I mean, he, oh, well, I can't say that either, but well, I think it's it's, 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 it's the, proving uh, that to me, it's just more proof that yeah. that this is what it is. And yeah, it is. Like I tell yeah. everybody else. You know who who's all caught up and scared about these these demons and i said if a demon showed up all he would do was embolden me to to as as you know it will solidify everything to me to the point to where you know there's there's just no question hmm. you know what i'm saying so because if there is if if you can see a demonic force, then that just confirms the spiritual on a whole yeah. nother level. To me. Exactly. So these people who are scared of the <laughs> demonic demonic things that are going on and these demonic influences and and talking about you know I I don't want to see this. If I do see something that is ungodly, it just proves God. Yeah, and that's a, and that's that's a yeah, if you but, you believe in a demon, you know, so, 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 if you believe in a demon, so just now you just say, "Where's my angels?" Yeah, yeah. Well, I got but unfortunately, side. I think unfortunately because of deception, just like the Bible talks about that the devil or mm -hmm. Satan was the most subtle creature that God ever created. Yeah, I think uh, ninety percent of the things that's going on in the world today are demonic. But it's not coming off and labeled demonic. No, it's but not. yet it's still it's still demonic. So and 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 so I just think, you know, but so many different things are going on um uh globally mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, that we're not really paying attention to, like the Fed now that and, and all these other things that I'm discussing. Because as they are in the control, they keep us caught up in fighting Democrat politicians, Biden versus oh, yeah. Trump. We're, we're we're fighting we're fighting these little nothingness to keep us stupid and against each other while what their real agenda is 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 is, is moving at a thousand miles per hour oh, but yeah. we're never going to pay attention to any of that when the time it hits us it's going to be too late because we were too busy quibbling over peanuts when the yeah. real stuff that they was trying to get over was in the background taking place and and, and that's yeah. exactly what they're doing to us now and just like you said, if a real demon showed up, unfortunately, yeah, there's the elect, but 
I, I honestly believe that the masses will bow down and worship it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. And I always on. said, you know, you always got these people that are looking for Esther, terrestrials, and all this other stuff. And, and I would always say if there was a spaceship that actually entered our atmosphere, they would try and blow that thing up because that is a threat to the power that is. Yeah, you know they yeah. wouldn't they wouldn't allow it to be any kind of peaceful uh, uh, greet meet and greet. Oh yeah, they can knock it down. They'll try to knock it down. Yes, yeah. obviously down. because because it, it threatens the, the the existence of of those who are in power. Well, and the I government think, now is admitting UFOs and saying that it's been around forever. They've actually said, yeah, it's real, it's true. There are UFOs. The government is even admitting it now and coming out uncovering the, uh, uh, documents that we're able to. To, to look at, I mean, it's, the deception is real, my brothers. It yeah. is real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, it is true. It's, 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 and, and the thing about it, and, and I've been saying this, is that because truth is readily available at your fingertips now, mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can find out anything about just anybody about any any policy, any program, any any law, any any anything, it's all at your fingertips, and all you have to do is tap in to what's available out here in this cyber world. Yeah. So because that truth is so available, there has to be much more falsities yeah. putting in there. So to okay. make the truth yeah. are defined. Yeah. So. Because that, because of that, I, I believe that there, there's going to be even more and more false information uh, alter, to alter what can be accessed as truth. Yeah, and you know, that's what they're trying to you, do. You, you, you can look up, you know, the sky is blue, and mm -hmm. you'll find out so many other things <laughs> that will be controversial to that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they so, try to buy. They, they try to buy. They try, and they, you're right. It's at your fingertips. These people who's archaic trying yeah. to find find books called banned books. Yeah. And it's like it's too late. The library is at your fingertips yeah. now. Everything it's is not the physical book. book. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there, the information is there, but how many? people are really going to take the time to research very 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 few and well, that's assume, the sad part about it yeah and, and jim i assume i assume that the when we're talking about the band in the books though is it's easier to go live to look for a book than to to uh go to a library and look for a book. but you know the sad thing about that particular uh, subject that you brought it up is that sometimes it's not so much the information but what what is your agenda for the information mm -hmm. how is it being taught mm -hmm. if you're being taught the truth but you're being taught it in such a way that you're actually are inferior and you're not equal to others and this automatically makes you second hand then even the truth taught the wrong way embedded in your mind can be deception so it's not necessarily that truth is truth and just because you got access to the truth, you're going to be fine. It's all in the agenda of how it's being taught and what they're telling you about the truth. Now, if they're telling you the truth so you understand and know and they teach it to you from a perspective that is going to motivate you and you're going to be able to use that as a catalyst to grow and to do better, that's one thing. If they're teaching you this so that you understand that you know you get what you get deserved because you are second hand and yeah. you second class then the truth is even being used for deceptive purposes and you know it's just it's just a fine line because if you, you because if you study the art of education education is not supposed to make you smarter it's supposed to it's supposed to teach you how to fit into the program and be a sheep so the whole education system is screwed up to be honest with you oh, yeah. and so you can't even really trust it, you know, in their institutionalism, it's all, it's an institution. You're right. Just like a prison or anything else, it's a freaking institution. It's not meant for you to know and to understand and to thrive. That's not the purpose of education. The purpose of education is to dumb you down 
yeah. to, to take a, to stifle your creativity, yeah. to, to cut back your spirituality, and to make you be and to think and to behave just like I need you to be yeah, to be part of, of this society. It's exactly right. Exactly you know right. What? Everything you said, all I was hearing was Adam and Eve dealing with Satan. Yes, yeah, sir. That's all I was hearing. You you take the truth and you use it to manipulate those Come on. you're speaking to Come on. to get a result that you are desiring. Period. And it's to usurp, usurp authority and power and that's all they're doing. It is the exact same modus of operation and it's been going on since the garden. Yeah. Man, if we were smart, if, if we were smart, we'd have a TV burning ceremony and, and go back to old tent services and go back to praying and revivals, throw away the TV, get rid of these cell phones, because it's all it's all a part of the programming. It, it just we're so programmed now. Oh, man, so I'm going to be honest with you, me and everybody else. There's no way you can live in this world and not be somewhere programmed. I mean, you, you guard against it as much as you can and, and you try to, you know, the only thing. If you're not reading your Bible a couple of hours a day, then then you're probably deceived. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. If you're not on your knees all the time looking for the Spirit of God for insight into everything, then you're probably deceived. You know what I'm saying? And, it's just that yeah, simple. Yeah. I mean, it's, and, it's just yeah. that simple. And that's what the Bible said. The study to show yourself approved. And the approval is unto God, not unto man. Is what he he tipped you. Know, that's what he put out there. But Daniel said in the in the last days, knowledge will greatly increase. You're dang right it will. And that's it what has. you're seeing right now. It has. Like you said, it's, it's at, it's, there, there's little children with available knowledge in their hands. In their hands, yeah. 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 Technology they're so hands. knowledgeable. They're so knowledgeable that they don't know whether they're a boy or a girl. Yeah. And we have to accept it. Come on, man. We done went so yeah. far stupid. It's absolutely astonishing to think that a civilized society will, 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 will be propagating and accepting and being and having to, to to do and to believe the things that we're made to do now on our jobs and live. I mean, this transsexual, transvestite, this tranny, this sports and boys and girls. And I mean, all of it is just absolutely astonishing when you really don't look at it from what you've been brainwashed to believe and oh, we're just being fair and. You know, God is great yeah. and everybody should be accepted. Throw all that garbage out the window. Just go back to the basics of the Bible, who God is. And you'll look at that and say, man, this is the craziest I've ever thought we would ever be as a society. We are. I mean, but come on, know, man. It's, come on. Uh, yeah. it's, I truly this guy, Jenner, let me just say this one thing. Let me just say this one thing. This guy, Jenner, it, I know it was a couple of years ago, but was named Woman of the Year? Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Who's We're a civilized Jenny? society. You mean Jenny? This thing. Yeah. Who's Jennings? Yeah. Yeah. Was named Woman of the Year. If I was the real woman, I'd be insulted. Yeah. I've been a woman. We've had women for thousands of years. <laughs> now you're going to take a man and he's going to be Woman of the Year? Come on. And, and you know what we did? <laughs> and we applauded. We applauded that. We're idiots. No, the, We're the, idiots. There was, there was many who applauded that. He got wow. the end of the year. <laughs> but uh yeah, but that's that, why that is that is I, I that's his decision to do what he did with his body. And God does still, not even God won't even take away your, your choice. And look, but don't for forget, this world to to exalt that man, that's a whole nother step. Hey look, look, for, that was deception. Don't forget, woman. Hey look, don't forget that was still deception because he was still sleeping with females. He, still is. He, still he, is. He still is sleeping with female. He is just putting on the that's too much like an act an act. Uh because he, he was no he he know he wasn't a, he know he's not a woman, but he said there because well, he still sleep with women. He well, still has well, sex with women. I, I, he I, prefer I, I, a woman. I to, to even want to understand the mind. I know it. It's caused well, there's some people like what, more dressing like a woman, I guess, whatever. Well, we can't we can't even define what a woman is nowadays. So that's that's a nebulous term. What do you mean, woman? What is a woman? They don't they don't know now. They can't think, even answer that question. So I think that's that goes, why. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.